Hello everybody, Kyle Goth here from GoldFilmReviews.com and the Gold Film Reviews YouTube channel, and I've got my first reaction to the new film, My Last Best Friend. Uh, the producers of the film uh, sent me out a screener for this one. As I always say, if you send me a screener, I'm definitely going to watch it and give you my thoughts on it as well. It was directed and written by uh, Filippo M. Prandi, who's a filmmaker I'm not aware of. Um, I believe this is his directorial debut for a feature um and it stars eric roberts and eric roberts that's right he plays two different characters in this film two men who live uh together both uh named walter stoyanov we're both going under the name of walter stoyanov uh and basically it's set during the early stages of the covid pandemic one of them uh test positive for COVID, and the other one is kind of trying to juggle things in his life as he's being investigated by an FBI agent. Um, and it's kind of the give and take between those two characters, who's telling the truth, who's not, or are they both telling the truth, or are they both liars? Um, and then kind of their different interactions there. And I will say, like, the strong point for the film for me was was Eric Roberts' performance. I've liked Eric Roberts for years now. Um, I think that he's one of those actors that doesn't necessarily get all the big roles, but ever since, I mean, the first couple films that I'd seen him in, he, he's been someone of note in, in just about every film he's been in. Um, he just tends to do a lot of work. But I liked him in this film. I thought he was uh, pretty solid as both uh, both the guys living together. There's opportunity, I guess, where you could say you have options to go with either like a super over-the-top performance difference between the two characters or a super subtle one. Um, and I would say that he finds this this nice area in between where it's the, the two characters are broadly different, the two people he's playing. But at the same time, there is some subtlety to what he's doing. Um, there's little ticks, there's little um, vocal awareness pieces that I think he brings to him that makes both characters kind of compelling people, particularly the one that gets COVID. Um, I really liked his portrayal of that character, that version of Walter, if we will. Um, outside of that... There's not much more I can really say about the film that I liked. Um, I guess I'll make a note. I do think it handles COVID in a respectful way. It respects what was going on during that time um, and the fear and the uncertainty of it. I think it actually handles the COVID stuff pretty well, which is not something most recent films have been able to do. I keep looking back to this film. I believe it's called Songbird from either 2020 or 2021, a horrible movie that um, basically turns COVID into a horror story and and but but what it does is it turns COVID into a horror story and then kind of like twists it into being this like I don't know this thing where it's like the government's the real bad guys here and I I just think that's kind of a BS excuse for it so Songbird was bad but I, I do think the last my last best friend handles COVID quite well unfortunately the film just surrounding the characters that Eric Roberts is playing is not very good. Um, and it's unfortunate. I know it's a directorial debut, so there's there's definitely the attempt here. I appreciate that Eric Roberts is kind of working with a first time director um, and kind of you know helping to elevate the material in that way. But a lot of what's going on, a lot of the side characters in the film, a lot of the side plot points, and and even the kind of that investigation by the FBI agent, I kind of figured I knew where it was going, and I was mostly right. Um, but in general, it wasn't very interesting either. Um, it was more it was more going through the motions. The best scenes in the movie, the best chemistry in the movie is between Eric Roberts and himself. Um, I enjoyed all the scenes with those two guys talking to each other. But anytime it's just one of them or neither of them in the film, it does slow down uh, the narrative pretty heavily. And for a movie that's only an hour and 45 minutes, it felt I felt the length so much in this movie. Um, I think it's unfortunate because I think there's... There's simple ideas that, that worked really well, and the more complex ideas of trying to have this weird investigation with the FBI and who's telling the truth and who isn't and stuff like that. The simplicity of the character moments in that apartment between the two characters sharing the same name and physical looks was actually pretty good. It's just when you get them doing anything other than talking to each other, the, the narrative just grinds to a halt. None of the supporting characters are all that interesting. They're a little stock. They're a little uh, bland. Uh, and the narrative itself just doesn't have much for these people to do. I mean, they're, they're always doing something, but there's nothing worthwhile for them to do. And that's kind of what's going on throughout the entire narrative. So all in all, I was a little disappointed in uh, My Last Best Friend. Um, interesting idea. And, you know, this is a case where first-time director, take your lumps, learn from it, and, you know, come back swinging with the next time around because it's just 
was not a very strong uh, first outing, but thankfully it is. Uh, it does have a pretty solid performance, or I guess two performances from one actor. Um, so go ahead and leave me your thoughts on My Last Best Friend down below in the comments section. While you're down there, please like and subscribe. There are two free things that can help support the channel immensely, and you never miss new episodes of the show as they drop. You can also find Goat Film Reviews on .com for my written reviews. You can find Goat Film Reviews on Facebook. You can follow me personally at Almighty Goatman on Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd, and Threads. And you can find my show, Kyle and Nick on Film, that I co-host with Nick Plodchuk from the St. Paul Filmcast. We have new episodes of that show every single week. All the links I just mentioned, they're down in the description, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.